Hi, this is Wiley Sharp with Denison Yachting, and today I want to take you guys for a video walkthrough on board the XS15. Uh, I've been talking about this boat for a long time. It's just over a year ago that uh, we announced that Group Benito is coming out with this new exciting range, and uh, it's been killing me that I've not been able to share with you guys photos and videos. So, like, now's the time. Like, here's the day. So, let's go ahead and jump aboard. Hope you guys enjoy the walkthrough as much as I do. Okay, let's go ahead and jump aboard the XS15. I am so freaking happy to be getting you guys on board this boat. I've been teasing you all for so freaking long. People didn't even know if these boats were actually real or actually gonna happen, and, and here we are on board. So on the port side here, through there, we've got the first of two mechanical spaces. You'll notice that the helm seat is in the retracted position. I'll show you over on the starboard side where it's down. And we've got our port pedestal here. One of the things that I was so hesitant about with the whole XS Catamaran boat was the twin helms aft. I mean, I've spent my entire career selling against twin aft helm boats and their disadvantages. And, you know, those disadvantages being lack of visibility to all corners of the boat, as well as exposure to the weather. And I think that the guys at Group Beneteau and XS Catamarans did a phenomenal job creating a very nice protected space with great lines of sight to all four corners of the boat. Let's go ahead and make our way up the port weather deck. You'll notice we've got one of the uh, four winches on board the boat here. Also worth mentioning that all the lines on the XS Catamaran are captive and run back to the cockpit. Nice wide weather decks making our way forward. Boats have Dyneema lifelines, which is a nice touch. Good grab rail on the um, inboard side, making it really easy to come up forward. All the decks, all the hatches are recessed in the deck, which is another nice feature. This boat's equipped with the Pulse package, which is the tall rig package and the bowsprit. And I mean, I think this has got to be one of the longest bowsprits of any production catamaran or production cruising catamaran, I should say. Nice large trampoline with a great seating area aft. And we've got the hard top up here. This has got the canoe boom with the um, square top mainsail, which all of the excess catamarans come standard with a square top mainsail and a double rigger, double spread rig. Self-tacking jib, making it a very, very easy boat to single hand. So we've got four peaks for plenty of storage up here, as well as over on the starboard side. And then there's some nice large deck lazarettes underneath these cushions. Because I'm at the boat show, they don't really want me tearing everything up right now, so I'll have to show you guys that another time. The uh, Onan generator is also located up here. Making our way down the starboard weather deck. Once again, you'll see it's a nice wide helm space. And a couple of steps brings us back down to the bridge deck level. So you can see here, the helm seat is deployed over on the starboard side. Boat's equipped with twin Yanmar controls. So we've got them both the port and starboard. So regardless of which side you're coming into the dock, makes it super, super easy. Give you guys a quick pano through the cockpit. One of the consequences too of having this twin aft helm design is it really opens up this cockpit space. So aft we've got, whoops, sorry, camera went crazy. Aft we've got a nice settee. We've got the dinghy davits. Over to port side, we've got a uh, L-shaped settee for alfresco dining. Over on the starboard side, we've got uh, another settee as well. And there's plenty of storage throughout the cockpit. Now, right now I've got the retractable sunroof, which is a factory option. Uh, fully opened. It's a beautiful morning here in France, so why not? But you'll see that when she is closed, it does create, you know, a lot of protection from the elements. Starboard side, we've got the um, wet bar, so a single basin sink. You can have a factory installed ice maker put over here on the port side. And then over on the starboard side, we've got the cockpit refrigerator. Let's go ahead and take a look inside the salon and cabins on the XS15. Making our way into the salon on the XS15. Over on the port side, we've got the galley, which has got a uh, four burner cooktop, as well as oven and broiler. And like, I mean, there's just a ton of storage in this boat. I mean, we've got lots of drawer space. We've got cupboards up top. I mean, just a lot of space on this boat. I'm gonna just do a quick pano through the uh, salon here. It's just so bright and open in here. I mean, God, I can't wait to take one of these boats over to the islands. So port side, we've got uh, some more storage up on the space here, as well as this large L-shaped settee. 
and a um, electrically actuated salon table. We're gonna go ahead and uh, check out the port side. Actually, first it's worth pointing out over here, we've got the fridge and freezer, as well as a wine cooler here in the salon. Making our way down the uh, port passageway, we'll check out the two guest staterooms. So aft, we've got a semi walk around queen size berth, lots of natural light coming in to the space. Just a little unique thing. I mean, this is kind of cool. They've got in the aft cabins, but also in the master, they've got these little hanging storage things, which I've not really seen on any other catamarans and that's kind of wasted space. So adding that little storage component really is a nice feature. We've got the uh, first of three heads on the boat. So we've got the actual head aft, single basin sink with plenty of storage beneath and above it, as well as a separate shower stall. We've got the extra freezer here in the port companion way. Making our way forward, we've got the port forward guest cabin, which is also a semi walk around queen berth. Um, there is so much storage on this boat. Like here, this is worth showing you guys. You've got a couple of massive hanging lockers on the inboard side on this boat. We've also got the, oh, I forgot to turn the light on in here, but we've got the second guest head which has got, you know, the toilet forward, single basin sink, storage beneath the sink, as well as up top, and a separate shower stall. We're gonna go ahead and make our way across the salon, but I mean, just to give you an idea, I mean, there's just freaking storage everywhere on this boat. I'm gonna pop through the salon, do the customary quick pano, And let's go ahead and check out the master stateroom. So, I mean, this space is just amazing. It's so open and bright. We've got a semi walk around queen size berth, lots of natural light coming into the boat. We've got storage on the outboard side as well as a nice little settee. I mean, there's just storage everywhere. I mean, this whole inboard side basically is storage. The uh, master completely cuts, shuts itself off from the rest of the boat. And um, this is, this is kind of nice here. So not only do we have, you know, nice large hanging locker here, but behind that panel, there's actually even, even more storage that you can get to as well. We've got the bathroom over here on the outboard side. And then forward, we've got the master head with his and her sinks, and then an actual shower up forward. I'm gonna come all the way up and um, just show you guys this space. I mean, it's this is such a nice master stateroom. I mean, they really nailed it with this boat. So this is the XS15. If you've got any questions on the boat, please uh, leave a comment down below, shoot me an email. This boat will be making our US debut at the Miami Boat Show. And I'd uh, love to get you guys on board. We've got the first hulls coming to the United States as our dealer stock boats. And uh, yeah, so shoot me an email if you want any information. And uh, if you'd like to come aboard, just uh, yeah, let me know. Thanks and have a good day.